There are some crazy things happening out in the wild west of the internet every minute of the day, from the top companies of the world being hacked, to new dangerous cyber criminal groups being created. These extremely dangerous but intelligent groups create their own viruses that exploit vulnerabilities in applications or programs. From here, they can detonate viruses on your computer without you even knowing. The purpose of these attacks, for it be for financial gain, to gather information about you or to cause suffering may be unknown, however, what if a computer virus could kill you? Computer viruses used to be exactly what you thought they were. Some malicious code on a computer, that if executed, can infect the computer and linger there forever. They might remain this way, however, attackers can utilize the advancement of technology to deliver these viruses in ways that may impact you, not only mentally and financially, but physically. With the rise of technology, computers are everywhere. There are computers in your smart TV, fridge, or even within electric vehicles, scooters, or bikes. If a cyber criminal had access to your vehicle and were able to obtain full control of it, then just imagine what sort of, cough, accidents could happen. In August 2008, Spanish airline company Spanair had Flight 5022, which was carrying 172 people, crashed tragically after takeoff. An internal report discovered that the central computer system used to monitor technical problems in the aircraft was infected with malware. A 12,000-page accident summary report explains that the Spanair central computer was Trojan infected and therefore, failed to trigger an alarm which would have grounded the plane. The computer virus was never identified as to how it got there. Blaster, also known as Lovson, Lovson, or MS Blast, was a computer worm that spread on computers running operating systems Windows XP and Windows 2000 during August 2003. This was especially bad as the malware induced problems in real-life systems unprecedented in their severity. The network congestion caused by Slammer dramatically slowed down the network traffic of the entire internet. One of the world's largest automatic teller machine networks crashed and remained inoperative over the whole weekend. Many international airports reported that their air traffic control systems slowed down. Emergency phone systems were reported to have problems in different parts of the USA. If this wasn't enough to convince you that a virus could kill you, then no it was also reported that Windows-based life support machines had been seen infected with Slammer and Blaster. It even managed to enter the internal network of the Davis Best nuclear power plant in Ohio taking down the computer monitoring the state of the nuclear reactor. A life support machine that's infected with malware is scary enough, however, the repercussions of a nuclear reactor being infected with malware is relatable to nuclear war, and may be the demise of society itself. In 2009, Professor Mark Gasson at Reading University, injected a virus-infected RFID chip into his hand, which made him the first human infected with a computer virus. Although this is a bit of a stretch as there was no real malicious intent, it can be seen how with the rise of technology in everyday life, this is something that will 100% occur. Elon Musk's company Neuralink, founded in 2016, aims to develop a device that, after being implanted in a human brain, would allow a computer to translate a person's thoughts into action. He wants not only to treat brain diseases and disorders but cure them. Unfortunately, wireless technology is not safe from cyber attacks. There are many vulnerabilities that can arise in wireless technology and Neuralink will no doubt be a major target. If an attacker was able to infect a computer chip embedded inside a human brain, to then send electrical signals through the brain then, well, you guessed it, they could probably kill you. A type of attack used by hackers is to replicate specific signals and these can be used to replay them. An example of this is where an attack replicates the radio signals sent by your doorbell, and by remotely replaying them, they can input commands to remotely activate your doorbell. If an attacker was to replicate the same signals that occur in the brain during events like a stroke or a heart attack, then a cyber criminal could literally kill you. Death Note Anyone it's possible that one day a computer virus may be used to physically harm humanity, however, for now this isn't on many people's mind. 
Unfortunately, the virus does not always need to be the killer. In November 2020, two men from the United States caused havoc across Los Angeles by hacking into Amazon's Ring Home security cameras and then swatting them. If you're unaware of what swatting is, it is when an attacker calls the police and reports a fake emergency to their victim's residence. They typically report a hostage situation, gunfire, or other acts of extreme violence with the goal of diverting heavily armed police resources to the unsuspecting victim's residence. After the two men called authorities, they would live stream the home security footage online on social media, whilst taunting the police upon arrival. The two men nicknamed Aspartame and Chum Lull hacked into dozens of different victims across the country after compromising their email account and finding which people had an associated Amazon Ring account. This swatting spree was reported to continue into the following year. Thankfully, these hackers were arrested in December 2021, charged with conspiracy to intentionally access computers without authorization. If convicted on the conspiracy charge, both defendants would face a statutory maximum penalty of five years in federal prison. The charge of intentionally accessing, without authorization, a computer, carries a maximum possible sentence of five years. However, this is a small price to pay if a life was taken. The scariest part about this is that it could happen to anyone at any given time. It might happen to you. With one phone call, your house is surrounded. Helicopters circle your house and heavily armed police are ready to breach your door. These attacks are dangerous and can end in tragedy. In June 2021, an 18-year-old serial swatter from the United States was sentenced to five years in prison for his role in a fraudulent swatting attack that led to the death of a 60-year-old man. In regard to the recent Amazon ring hack and swatting attacks, it's important to understand how the attack occurred. The email accounts belonging to the victims of these recent swatting attacks were compromised, most likely due to them recycling the same password across the internet. Amazon Ring confirmed this and said it learned malicious actors use stolen customer email credentials obtained from external services to access other accounts. They took immediate steps to help those customers secure their Ring accounts. However, this just shows that once the password is leaked, attackers can jump from one account to the other and cause total mayhem. In the victim's case, the help did not come soon enough. Another thing to note is that attacks are not always financially motivated. In this case, the attackers wanted to see their victim suffer as they live streamed the raid of their victim's house to social media for anyone to see. Although, this attack could have been prevented. The victims, and I strongly recommend you that's watching, should consider using password managers to prevent the reuse of passwords. Password managers are applications on your phone and computer that are designed to store and manage online credentials. It generates strong, customizable passwords, which are stored in an encrypted database and locked behind a master password. Only you know the master password, which will not be shared with anyone. Although recently, a major password manager was compromised, which we will cover in a further video. With the rapid advancement of technology in recent years, it has become increasingly possible for malicious actors to find ways to cause havoc and destruction through digital means. From ransomware to botnets, computer viruses are one of the most common and devastating forms of cyber attack, with the potential to destroy both data and even lives if they're powerful enough. Unfortunately, these threats aren't limited solely to computers. Smart home appliances such as refrigerators, microwaves, and security systems are becoming increasingly connected with each other through wireless networks. This means they can be accessed remotely by hackers, who may use them to control devices or commit other malicious acts. The possibilities for cyber criminals in this area are almost limitless and pose serious risks for both personal safety and financial security. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, as we'll be covering the most notable vicious cybersecurity attacks and the most notorious hackers.